Hey, it's Trevor with eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Volvo XC90, we're gonna be taking a look at doing an installation of the wiring kit for brake controllers. And while you might be wondering why you would need this kit, it's just to hook up your seven way for either 12 volt power or to hook up a brake controller. And if you're using a crude echo like our neighbor is today, all you're gonna need is that 12 volt power plus anything from that four pin connection. And now it's not too difficult to install. It's just one jacketed wire that has two wires inside of it, a few breakers, and two of the breakers are just gonna be for your brake controller itself. So let's dive into that install and I'll show you how to do it. Well, first we need to get to the battery to actually hook up our electrical. And all we need to do is on the inside of our threshold, we have two eight millimeter bolts we'll need to take out and then we'll just pull our threshold out of the way. And once we got the threshold out of the way, we're just gonna reach in here and grab this carpeted piece and just pull back on that, we'll release a tab, and now we have access to our battery. Now we're gonna connect our 40 amp circuit breaker. Uh, actually, we're gonna put it on this back wall right here, and we're gonna do battery side down, auxiliary side out, so we can run our wire a little bit nicer. And I'm just gonna take a self-tapper and go to this back wall here. So we're going to do after we get this cover pulled out is we're going to locate the grommet behind the battery and it's very easy to do you just reach back here it's just going to be right behind the positive terminals and then we're going to route our wire down through that and it'll come out right underneath here and then we can run that along the heat shielding to our plug our vehicle already has a seven way but if you need one we do offer kits that'll allow you to plug your four pole into this so you can have a seven and a four. Now coming out of the vehicle, we're gonna find our blue and our black wire. Our blue is gonna be for a brake controller, our black is gonna be for the 12 volt uh, auxiliary pins. Now that we got where we're connecting this to, out of the way, what we'll do is we're gonna cut in between the two wires here to remove some of this jacketing so we can strip these wires back and then connect them up. What you'll do is you'll take the white wire, that'll be to your brake controller, and this is just so you have it connected. Uh, if you ever planned on hooking up a brake controller, you don't necessarily have to do it at this time. Uh, and the black wire is just gonna go to our power. That's when we're gonna be hooking to the battery so you have that constant 12 volt uh, coming out the trailer plug. Now we're gonna go ahead and get these wires stripped back. We're not gonna use these basic butt connectors. We actually are gonna use some heat shrieks ones just to protect it better from the elements. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and get these two cut off. And then we'll strip these, wire back, these wires back and then connect our butt connectors to it from there. And now we're going to get these sealed up. All right, now we're going to take our white wire, which is just our ground, and we're going to ground that up here. All right, we pulled all the extra slack up, and now what we're going to do is we're going to connect to our circuit breaker that we mounted back there earlier. And we just capped off the wire for the brake controller. At this point, you would want to start running it or to the front for your brake controller. But today on our neighbor's vehicle, they just wanted a Kurt Echo. So we won't need that wire for this. Now you just want to take the nut off, put your ring terminal over the top and then tie that nut back up. And then we're going to pull all the excess through and uh, we're going to spool that up and then zip tie it underneath the vehicle in case our neighbor does want to run that for a brake controller later. And now we're going to just hook our circuit breaker up to our battery over here. And what I did beforehand was I took an extra length of wire. I just snipped that off, put a small butt connector that comes in the kit on one end and then the larger butt connector for the ring terminal on the other end. So now that we got our cable connected for the auxiliary power here, and then we also have the cable connected here for our battery. We ran that jumper over to here. Now you are all set 
up for this kit and all you have to do is button everything back up and we're good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and test to make sure that our 12 volt signal is working properly. Uh, you can do this either with a circuit tester or we also carry these handy dandy 7 way testers here at eTrailer.com. You plug that in, you can see that the 12 volt light is lighting up and that means we are set to go. Now I'll take a look at the wiring kit for brake controllers on our 2020 Volvo XC90. My name is Trevor and thank you for watching.